There is a river almost 2,000 miles long that stretches from West China through North India and Southern Pakistan all the way to the Arabian Sea. Most refer to it as the Indus River, but in Pakistan it is called the Sindhu River. The Pakistani province where the river meets the Siat is named after it as Sindh. In the thousands of years of its existence, many foreign empires have claimed dominion over this region, such as the legendary Macedonian Emperor Alexander the Great. Many more empires would follow after him, including eventually the British. The East India Company annexed Sindh into British India following their victory at the Battle of Miami in 1843. Pakistan became an independent country in 1947, and Sindh would gradually become part of it over the next two decades. The vast majority of Sindhis are Muslims, although there is also a considerable number of Hindus as well. Its economy depends on crops such as sugarcane, which grow in areas where water is available. However, as much of the province is desert, many must rely on the collection and storage of water from seasonal rainfalls along with the main canals and their channels. Sindh has a very long history of creating art and appreciating its beauty. There is also ro much rock art in Sindh, some dating as far back as ancient times, as with the other provinces of Pakistan. But interestingly, it is apparently quite distinctive from other Pakistani rock art. They carved art into rocks, and then many, many centuries later, they would carve out a home for themselves on a tiny island many miles away. This series will explore the history of the Sindhi community of Barbados.